not to retailers. Fine Plaza has been an issue for Hanover Township. It's been an issue before our Economic Development Committee. It's been an issue before this committee. It's been an issue before the Planning Board. The issue is that the mall is not doing very well. It has not succeeded over the years, and our retailers have been paying the price for it over the years. We lost a great many good retailers out of that mall over time. Uh, they don't have a, a strong leader in that mall. They don't have a strong anchor store in that mall. And I'm not going to get into the retail issues of why they failed, but it's probably one of the reasons that the wall was failing. It has always been the township's desire to see that wall succeed. We have encouraged, most of my committee then, uh, have reached out to various grocers, retailers, etc., to come into the mall as anchors to try and make it a success. We did not have much success in doing that. It got to the point now with the mall where the mall's failure was leading to tax appeals and other matters before the Township Committee, and it required action on our part. The action that we're taking on our part it starts with the Planning Board, which has been examining the mall for years. It's one of about eight properties in the Township that we are looking at for redevelopment areas. Redevelopment area is not a dirty word. I'm going to explain it to you. Now, the misunderstanding that I think has been going on through our community and one that's been perpetuated by social networking. Social networking is wonderful. It gives us all an opportunity to talk to each other. It gives a, the general public a chance to give their opinions, share, share opinions, and quite honestly, it gives the public a chance to vent as well. We understand it. Most of us on the Township Committee, uh, some of us share in social networking. Most of us read the social networking. Uh, at this point, I think we're most concerned uh, as are the retailers in that area, with the language that appeared in the uh, condemnation uh, language that appeared in the redevelopment zone. There is condemnation in the zone, there's zones without condemnation. Condemnation in this retail zone is because there are so many properties involved and that is, is, is a requirement. We have another area in the town that's been brought to our attention through social networking called River Park. River Park is owned by one owner. The Pine Plaza is owned by one owner, but has several properties within the condemnation, within the zone, within the redevelopment zone. So at this point, uh, let me make one statement, then I'm going to turn it over. I want our attorney to uh, give you some opening remarks about what a redevelopment zone is all about, what the benefits are, what it can do to rejuvenate that area, what we're trying to do. He's going to do that in the presentation to you in about a moment. I want you to know this. From every township commitment here, the idea of condemning the retailers in that wall was never part of the process that we wanted to approve. We had no intention of interfering with leases. We had no intention of, of interfering with private sales and private uh, business between the tenants and the landlord. Had this property changed hands without a redevelopment zone, and let's assume that it did, where Pine Plaza would have sold to everybody else, or somebody else other than this developer, the matter of the tenants would still have to be dealt with. The issue now becomes one of the language that's being used in the redevelopment zone. Uh, and that language contains the tool condemnation. On that note, Fred Sumerow, attorney for the Township Council, Fred, I'm going to turn the meeting over to you.